that people welcome to the cat lady christmas calendar day two today i'm telling you if i manage to try all the makeup brands that i have aimed for 2022 the concept of this video is pretty much simple last year at cat lady christmas calendar i have set it a goal the goal was to try 10 new makeup brands or to try more products from some specific brands i'm gonna explain later on so in this video i'm explaining if I manage to do that and if not why so if you're new here first of all welcome my name is Antigone I love doing makeup I love doing colorful creative makeup with a lot of glitter the more glitter the better I will be very very happy if you like the content and if yes don't forget to subscribe in the end and after all this and if you're ready let's start at number one we have milk and the question here is have I tried more products Product as I wanted in 2022 from Milk Makeup? Well, no, and I don't really know why, if you ask me, because Milk is quite easily accessible. I mean, it's a click away, you know. I can go to Sephora Sweden because I live in Sweden and we have Sephora here, and everything is so easy. So I don't really know why I haven't tried more products from them while I wanted so so much. Basically, I think the main reason is because I don't buy from Sephora that much. I mean, I have bought like one or two times within 2022 from Sephora, which is quite a few times in comparison with other online shops that I prefer more. And all in all, I kind of felt kind of underwhelmed by Milk and all the new releases and everything. So that's why I haven't tried. I mean, I still want to try but it's not a priority to me anymore. At number two, we have Kaleidos. At number two, we have another failure of mine to try this brand within 2022. Why? Because basically Kaleidos is an American indie brand based in UK. So to me, it's extremely difficult to order things from UK. First of all, the shipping nowadays is so, so expensive. And secondly, here in Sweden, we have to pay extra customs, I think as every European country. And then I have to pay around $50 in order just to have paid the shipping and the customs. This is crazy. I mean, $50, I don't even pay for the palettes. I don't even pay for the products and I will pay for, you know, customs, shipping and stuff like that basically not actual products well i don't like this as an idea and i hope that this will change soon because there are a lot of american brands that i really want to try and this whole thing really stops me and of course i'm not alone like i'm talking with you on instagram by the way my instagram is catlady if you want to visit me there and a lot of you have exactly the same problem with me and this is not only for kaleidos and of course i'm not blaming kaleidos or something something like that but in general it's so so difficult to buy anything from America and nowadays the shipping costs are crazy I mean the last time that I checked not only Kaleidos again a lot of American indie brands they charge around $40 only for shipping without the customs which is way way too much again I can understand the whole situation with the war and everything but $40 I mean it's just too much for me and if you ask me if i still want to order from kaleidos if i still want their products the answer is yes 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 i'm dying for their multichrome highlighters their amazing color schemes in the palettes i'm literally dying but i don't know it's kind of too much money for me to afford the whole shipping and then customs and everything so please tell me down in the comments are you buying things from america nowadays i'm so interested to know at number three we have Glamlight, another US-based brand. And this is basically the reason that I didn't manage to buy anything from them in 2022. Again, shipping and customs were the biggest obstacles for me. But if you ask me if I still want to buy their stuff, the answer is again, yes. Nowadays that I'm filming this video, they have released their latest collab with Barbie and oh my god i'm dying about this palette i mean i loved it and i find it so unfortunate that i cannot 
put my hands on this collection. I really love it. Also, I love the collections or the collabs with Michaela, both part one and two. They were awesome, awesome. The only idea that I have right now is to try to find them on eBay by European sellers that they are selling the palettes like in brand new condition because people, hygiene is above everything. So of course I'm gonna avoid swatched or already used palettes or stuff like that, but I really want to buy the Barbie one. And if this is not unfair, then what? At number four, we have Pilouis. And Pilouis actually is the first success for today's video. Let me show you. Ta -da! I have managed to buy their palette worldly. It's an amazing palette. I have filmed already a tutorial. I think that it's already up at my channel. I will leave a link for this video down in the description box. Hopefully we'll remember this time. Let me open this palette again. This palette is huge. I mean, look at my head. Look at this palette. It's basically as long as it's my head. I mean, it's so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing. And if you look at the palette, it's just amazing. It contains blues. It contains a very nice variety of greens. And I mean, these neon colors. Oh my God, it, it's performing greatly on my eyes. And I'm basically in love with this palette. Will I buy more from Pilouis in the future? Well, definitely. I love this brand. I love her eyeshadow base for cat creases and crazy stuff like that. This palette is fire. So for me, it's a big yay! At number five, we have Pixie. And with Pixie, things are complicated. I have quite an easy access to Pixie because the owner is actually Swedish. So I can find basically all of their products here in Sweden, but still, in 2022, I kind of felt very, very underwhelmed by Pixie, by their new releases, by everything that has to do with this brand. So I was like, meh. And I never tried anything from them. I don't know why. And if you ask me if I still want to try anything from them, well, not really. Well, if someone has something from Pixie and it happens for me to be in the same place with this something from Pixie, yes, I might watch it, but I would definitely not try to buy anything from them. Again, it's kind of underwhelming for me. I don't know how to explain it. Have you ever felt the same about any brand? Tell me. At number six, we have the body shop. And here we have kind of special case, okay? The goal for 2022 was to try their makeup products okay i didn't but i tried a lot of their hair care and skincare products and let me tell you i'm so happy basically what happened there was that i tried to log in their web page and then i saw all their care products and i'm like this is what i want this is what i want from them but then i kind of saw their makeup products and i felt again kind of underwhelmed and i'm like yeah i'm gonna spend my money at their care products either hair care or skincare or scrubs or body butter and stuff like that oh my god they're just amazing and i think that in the end i have done the correct choice i haven't regretted anything yes i would still want to try their makeup products especially their foundation and their concealer because they have some new formulas and i have heard very very positive comments but again i do not regret what i have done and maybe i will try the rest with in 2023. At number seven, we have the UK based brand Mimi Mimi Mitchell. Well, I didn't try this brand and I honestly don't know why. I have bought from Beauty Bay two or three times, but I never thought, I never remember to have a look at Mimi Mitchell's product and try to think like what I need from here. Maybe, mainly because I have dupes from these products. I mean, I have some other products which are quite similar to these. So I wouldn't say that I felt underwhelmed or anything, I just never thought about it, so I think that this fact by itself means something, but I promise this will be in 2023 goals, so hopefully I will do something differently with the new year. At number 8, I'm gonna talk about the Polish indie brand Glam Shop. Basically, Glam Shop for me was a success. Yay! I managed to buy stuff. Let me show you 
two things basically their palette their laguna palette i have a tutorial here at my channel don't forget to check it out also if you're interested about this makeup i also have a tutorial here at my channel i don't know if i will remember to leave it down below but if you're interested how i made this it's basically the challenge where i'm using only products with pink packaging and i think this is quite a nice result right also if you feel that you want to see more pictures from this makeup look and some more fun videos don't forget to follow me on both my instagram and tiktok accounts on both accounts my username is still cat lady and and now let's go back to relevancy so from glam shop i have bought this very very beautiful palette it is called laguna and let me show you the color scheme i mean I'm in love with the metallics, they are so beautiful, so bright and they are performing amazingly on the eye with or without setting spray. To me, this palette is a success, it's a quite cheap palette, I mean, I paid around 10 euros or 15 euros, like it worth the money absolutely but i didn't buy only this right i have bought some eye pencils some lipsticks and stuff like that but i'm not gonna show you i'm gonna show you another palette that i built by myself basically this one so i bought separately this case right here and all the shades except from this one are from glam shop and basically all of these shades are kind of special they are either duochromatic or very shimmery very sparkly multi chromes they are awesome and they had an amazing discount so i think i paid something like less than two euros per eyeshadow to me this is a steal and i'm so happy with the quality i don't know if i'm gonna buy in 2023 again from them but if i have the opportunity i will definitely buy something at number nine we have a norwegian indie brand which is called echo glitters basically they're selling biodegradable and edible glitters did i buy from them well no <laughs> why because i found a replacement i found a uk based brand which is called popping glow and they have some amazing biodegradable glitters some amazing color combination when it comes to glitters and to be honest they kind of caught my attention way more than echo glitters because I kind of found Echo Glitters a little bit more basic in the end in comparison with Popping Glow. So I invested all the money that I had available for glitters at Popping Glow instead of Echo Glitters. Will I buy from them on 2023? Well, I don't know because I still want to buy more from Popping Glow because they have, first of all, some amazing offers. Nowadays, they are having some new duochrome glitters and stuff like that, which I'm dying to try. So, I don't know. I still feel kind of underwhelmed. I have seen a very beautiful bundle at Lico, though. Lico, if you don't know about it, it's a Scandinavian store, I would say, which retails other brands. And basically, I'm kind of keeping an eye on this bundle because I find it quite interesting. I think it's called She's Into Parties or something like that. So maybe if I buy something from them in 2023, this will definitely be this bundle because it contains a lot of their products and some glues as well. So I think it's the best opportunity for me to try them. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. In this video, I said multiple times that I didn't buy from some specific specific brands due to customs. That's why I'm gonna tell you how we say customs in Greek, okay? So in Greek we say telonio. Say with me. Te lo ni o. Telonio. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word telonio or tell me the word in your own native language. Also, tell me, did you ever want to buy anything and you kind of stopped yourself because of telonio? And last but not least, at number 10, we have gloss coats. So basically, did I accomplish my goal and bought things from them? Yes, yes, yes. And I'm so, so happy with their quality. Basically, I'm gonna show you two diamonds from my collection. First of all, we have Gallon Moon, 
it's a stunning palette and here we have look for rainbows i'm gonna show you at least one of these two palettes because basically they contain only effect eyeshadows and they contain duochromes metallics so oh, battery metallics you need to try them they're amazing or some multichromes even something that i would like to mention about these palettes is that i have heard that a lot of people are using them only as companion palettes well Personally, I'm using them as main palettes because I can very very happily create looks which contain only by glittery and shimmery eyeshadows so for me they are perfect even by themselves also from gloss code so I have bought some singles some multichrome some pastel multichromes my god they are so beautiful I don't have them around but they are on my desk right there and trust me the quality is sky high Hi, will I buy again in 2023? Yeah, sure, definitely. Nowadays they're releasing their new collection, which I don't remember the name right now. Usually when it comes to the new collections, I'm posting pictures at my Instagram stories. So make sure that you go there and find the collection. It's amazing, it's so dreamy. I think the name has to do something with new romance or something like that. It contains pastel purples, it contains pink and I'm stopping right here because I don't know I just want to buy it right now and I need to stop myself from doing this so I'm basically stop describing and that was it this was our video for today I hope that you enjoyed the video I hope that you kind of find it relatable with you I would be very very happy if you write down in the comments which was your target brands for 2022 and if you accomplish your goals thank you so so much for being here with me Day. I appreciate you a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and see you tomorrow with a new video. Until then, bye bye!